test setup for the DC motor and controller. I picked up this Warp 9 motor used and uh, as part of the package it came with two of these Alltrax 72 volt controllers. Uh, you know, not, not the most performance oriented thing, but uh, they're, they're good for golf carts, buggies, gem cars, that sort of thing. But uh, I figured I could use them to, to test everything out and at least get my setup down. So quickly threw up a, uh, a little test setup with two 12 volt batteries that I had laying around. And uh, I got the good old Curtis pop box throttle here. And uh, put a, a shunt and a breaker in and some really ghetto wiring. If you think this looks kind of half-assed, it's because it definitely is. Um, as I said, just, just wanted to do a functionality check. So we'll go ahead and power things up and see how everything works. Flip our breaker on. We got voltage on our meter there. And our status light comes on green on the controller. And we'll go ahead and launch the controller software so we can monitor the controller. Really basic interface for this controller. It just gives you the ability to um, set some basic tuning parameters for max voltage, minimum voltage, throttle rates, etc. And then it gives you the option of monitoring some parameters here. So I'm select all, start monitoring. And let's see right now we're at eight degrees C on controller temperature, 24 volts almost on battery. And uh, I'm go ahead and I don't know if you'll be able to actually hear, see this thing spin up or not. We'll hit our throttle and you can watch the, the voltage drop a little bit as we do this. And click that over to current. Shunt's hooked up backwards, so it's really negative, but you get the idea. Also watch them update on the screen here. So yeah, that's it. Uh, pretty basic setup. Next part of the product is going to be to get our coupler and adapter, and uh, you know, finalize things for what batteries I'm going to be using and. Uh, decide what controller I'm going with. I'm thinking uh, building the Paul and Sabrina DC motor controller to to get up to around 144 volts to get some decent performance out of this nine inch uh, net gain motor that I got here. And uh, yeah, that's about it.